Hello, I hope you're ready for a bedtime Bible story. We've been going through this God's Good News Bible story book. It was written by Billy Graham for kids and families to help us understand God's word better, how he wants us to live. So today is a short story about the Ten Commandments. And at The Rock, we have um, studied the Ten Commandments and tried memorizing them. So they're in different words than how we memorize them, but see if you can remember them as we go through them. So this is um, the story of the Ten Commandments, and it is in the book of Exodus chapter 19 through 31. All right, before God led the Israelites into the promised land, he wanted them to understand and follow his commands. So Moses met with God at the top of a mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. And when he came down, he carried two stone tablets. God had written these 10 commandments on them. Here's the picture. Coming down the mountain with the two stone tablets. And now see if you remember what the 10 commandments are that we studied. You shall have no other gods before me. Number two, you shall not bow down to other gods nor serve them. Three, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Four, remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. Five, honor your father and mother. Six, do not murder. Seven, you shall not commit adultery. Eight, you shall not steal. Nine, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. And number 10, you shall not covet anything that is your neighbor's. So what do those mean and why would God give us 10 commandments, 10 rules to follow? Well, Billy Graham has a little um, devotion thing here to help us understand that, how to apply it to our lives. The Ten Commandments help us understand what is right and wrong. The first four commandments show that our main priority is to love God. Oh, that is awesome. The other six guide our love of other people. Have you ever thought about those when we've been reading them through? The first four, how to love God, and the next six, how to love other people? That's pretty cool. God has given us these standards for another reason. He loves us, and he wants what is best for us. What happens when people don't do these things? What happens when people lie and steal and do other evil things all the time? People hurt people, and they sin against God. Let's thank God that he cares so much about us that he has told us how to live and ask him to help you and me follow him in everything we do. I think that's how we should pray today. All right, close your eyes and fold your hands and let's talk to God. God, we love you and we thank you for giving us rules. Even though we don't always like rules, we know that it's the best way to live our lives, the way you want us to, so that you can use us to do your work on earth. So thank you for these commandments. Thank you for... Um, telling us how to love you and showing us and telling us how to love other people. Help us to love people the way you love people. We love you so much in Jesus name. Amen. I love you guys. God loves you so much more. Have sweet dreams. Bye for now.